2019 was one of the best, toughest, and most interesting years of my life. And so I wanted to share with you a few lessons that I learned, which I think could be of value to everybody. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. The first lesson, the ultimate lesson, and something that Elon Musk said on the Joe Rogan podcast is that love is the answer. And 2019 spoke that to me more than anything I could have ever imagined. One of the things that I think we often neglect and really don't think about is that when it goes to that baseline level, that underlying root of everything, the motivation for any action that we ever do, it's either for love, with love, or because we are love. And it's something that we don't often see. Even addressing our own wounds and realizing that our wounds often lead us to try to attain love in ways that we think will fill those wounds is something that can be so important for our overall sense of understanding and also our ability to empathize and uh, really relate to others. So number one is just realize that like love is the answer and it's everywhere and return to it as much as you possibly can. Number two is that things can continually get better if you let them get better. I think in our society, based on movies, based on TV shows, music, just about everything, we are often taught that when something gets good, it's likely to get bad right after that. And that isn't necessarily the truth. The reality is things can continually get better, but you have to let them get better. And that is one of the hardest things to step outside from your comfort zone, to step out from your own self-doubt, which often leads to things getting worse after they are getting better, and truly let yourself and the reality around you continually become something that you are proud of. Remember that things can keep getting better, just let them do it. Number three is we all need to try things that scare us. If you're currently sitting in a comfort zone, you are currently in stagnation and you're actually in degradation. Life doesn't have anything that can stand still and stay better. Standing still is getting worse. And uh, as everyone around you gets better and uh, things continue to get better, just like I said in number two, you end up going downhill if you don't do the things that scare you. Fear is often an indication of something. And oftentimes we're scared of fear because we're scared to address something in our shadow work that is really important, but we just don't want to do it. We're kind of neglecting that area of life. So I would highly recommend to do the things that scare you and lean into that fear. And number four plays into that incredibly well, which is you need to address your shadow and do shadow work. Shadow work sounds woo-woo, it kind of is in nature, but it is something that we all do and we have to grip with. The shadow is simply the self that does the things that we know aren't our truest, highest self. It's when you're not acting out of love and you don't know why you're not acting out of love. But the moment that you can understand and address the shadow, that's the moment that you're literally going to be able to shine light on it and act out of love and light instead of utilizing that shadow for everything you do. So I would highly recommend looking in the shadow work, starting to find your shadow and illuminate the things that are currently keeping you in the dark. And the last one, and this one is one of the most important things that I need to focus on is we all need help. So just ask for it. All of us need help. There's many different areas of things that we're trying to focus on. And I think a lot of times we think that we can do everything ourselves, which is a very misguided understanding of reality. Someone somewhere has done the things that you want to do or that has had the problems that you are currently struggling with. And I would highly recommend you just to simply ask for help because as humans, it's in our nature to help each other out. So ask for help when you feel you need it. And those are the five things that I think really, truly have impacted me in 2019 and things that I will be taking in the decade of 2020s and remembering for the rest of my life. If those helped you in any way, I want you to drop below what you think your most favorite of those are, something that is starting to provoke some interesting thoughts. Otherwise, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos on self-improvement and lessons just like this from my life come out in the future. Thank you.